Okay, so in a 2002 AWM um, Passat, it's a B55, it still has this one in it, this kind of PCV valve. I was told that after 2002, they went to this sort of a valve, which is like a T. Um, it's got an extra thing coming off here. But in the 2002, it's definitely this one. I just pulled it out. I also suggest picking up one of these T's um, just in case you rip yours uh, as you're taking out the PCV valve. Um, I did not rip mine, but you just never know. Another thing to get, you know, while you're paying for shipping is go ahead and buy a check valve just in case one crumbles in your hand or you have check or you know you're going through your system and you check them and one's missing or one's broken. So I actually ordered two but I'll return one. So, so this is just a quick shot of what your engine bay will look like once you get to your PCV valve. Um, I'm not gonna go through step by step on this video at least. Um, so you're going to have to remove, or I'll do a quick one, you have to remove three screws and then the electrical connector on the back of the cooling tank. Uh, go ahead and remove your air intake um, from here and move it over so you can get your cooling tank a little further, expansion tank a little further. Um, you'll have the, uh, a hose right here with a one-time clamp if you've never undone it before undo it and I'll give you a, a close up of here. There's it's it's over this notch right here, so you gotta use a screw to get over there and then another little notch down here you can use it to get all the way off. I push it down here kinda out of the way. Um, there's this T down here. Um, you can see mine's uh, white, but that's because I broke it the uh, other week when I was checking these check valves. Um, <coughs> and that runs up here to this hard line. Um, you want to remove this from this part of the manifold. Um, it's where your suction jet pump is. And uh, speaking of which, your suction jet pump goes into this right there, and you'll just pull it out. This is the way it is. You should be able to blow through this side, um, but you should not be able to blow through this side over here by my pinky. Um, this offshoot right here by my thumb. You should be able to blow or suck through each side of that. Uh, so I guess I shouldn't say you can't blow through this side. You should be able to blow through this side over here, but you should not be able to suck through over here. Um, there will be an elbow hose right here. This one's common. This one, uh, the elbow hose comes from this part of the manifold right here and it goes into the bottom. Uh, up right there in the center of the picture of the suction jet pump, it is this right here. Here, let me back out. Of course, my hand's in the way. Here, um, you know, it's approximate location. Um, those will be one-time clamps as well. So you're going to want to get a lot of hose screw clamps to replace all these one-time clamps that you want to remove. Um, let's see. This is the one I got. Um, it's got those sizes in it. Half, five eighths, three fourths, seven eighths, one inch, one and a sixteenth, one and three eighths, and one and a half. Um, I think my most common one to use was the five eighths, and it's gone. The uh, one half is probably next, followed by three fourths. Um, so you want to have a couple of those on hand because you're going to burn through a lot of them. Um, <coughs> also, so you got all of this. You're going to have to get this off. You see here, I got a zip tie here. It's because I broke mine. It's a plastic clamp. Um, you lift it up my, uh, over here on this side. You lift it up and you kind of slide this out, but uh, mine was very fragile. Um, but this zip tie works pretty nice and still clamps it back down. Um, attached to the right, so this this end goes right here, right there. This 
uh, tree part goes into um, an S an S shape hose. Um, this part goes into the suction jet pump. This part down here has your PCV valve in it, and it'll be sitting down here in the engine bay and kind of poking up. Um, um, down here, there is, I don't think you can really see it. Here, let me try to lower you in. That hole right there, no, it's at an angle, but it's a T, and that hole is where the PC valve, PCD valve sits, and I assume that they are originally one time only clamps. Um, which would probably be a big pain in the butt to get rid of uh, because of their location. Looks like mine, since mine's an older car and I bought it used, that uh, they came. Someone's already replaced this valve once before. You can see a little bit of buildup in there, um, but they've only, right, the other two ends of the T have one time only clamps on there, and since I didn't rip the T, I'm not going to bother replacing the T and removing those one time only clamps because it's such a pain in the butt. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm just going to reinstall and put everything back in. But this, that's where it is. It's down here behind this cooling hose towards the back here engine bay. And the um, best thing to do is to remove the one time only clamp that's on that T down there. Um, and then you can pull the. Uh, where'd it go? You can pull the PCV valve out. Let me find you. Here's the new one. So this this black end here will be sitting in the T down there, and this gray end sit, seats in the hose right here. So there will be a one-time only clamp right here on the hose with this in there but you can pull this black end out of the T before you undo this one time only clamp here. So I highly suggest doing that because that'll make your life easier. Um, now I gotta find my other one. Kind of tell you what it looks like. Oh, here it is. Um, so this is the one I removed. See it's got, uh, oh maybe you can't see. It's got some oil in there. A little wet. Um, the back has got some building up. It's probably not too fine, but in here you can see there's a spring. My guess is mine just got old and it's not shutting as well. Um, I'm trying to chase down some a brake booster thing. Uh, but anyway, that's how you do it. Um, suction jet pump is the same deal, but right, suction jet pump you remove, it's right here, it's really nice and easy. The uh, pressure regulator valve, or otherwise your hockey puck valve, is right here on my AWM. It's also really easy. It's just you know two hose clamps, one here and one on the bottom, and you just pull it out. Um, I've replaced that one. The suction jet pump is new, and that now the PCV valve will be new, and basically all the valves in my PCV system will be new, and hopefully that'll solve my problem.